Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a very, very special video for you guys. You see the player Ninjias at the very top of the leaderboard, and if you've been paying any attention, he's been the top of the leaderboard in plenty of seasons before us as well. Well, Ninjias is widely regarded as the best Battles 2 player of all time. And today, guys, I end up 1v1ing Ninjias in a whole of Masters ranked match. I also end up facing this player as well, who has a top two badge. So there's some crazy games in today's video because this is Sweat Series. Episode 2 guys where I use some of the best strategies in Blue Spouse 2 to show you the best way to win against some of the top players in the world. So let's hop right into guys. Let's get it. And also guys, as I said previously, there was a charity showdown going on for Blue Spouse 2 which recently just ended and I want to say my own congratulations to the top 3 finishers, Boltrix, Tuity, and Isap who will be getting their own in-game cosmetics. I did end up finishing 5th guys unfortunately, but I am really appreciative of everyone who used my creator code and continues to use my creator code Ryan Mahalik in the Battles 2 item shop. Thank you all for supporting me, and um, it all goes to a good cause anyways, so you know, it's not the end of the world. But now, on to the video. Alright guys, our first match of this Sweat Series video is against Ninjias here, and he's going Fate Weaver Door, and I'm going Fate Weaver Door as well. We are on the map Sun Palace, and I'm bringing the strategy of Ninja, Alchemist, and Heli here, so it should be a really fun one. I'm going to start with my Alchemist, which will be placed right here. They have a different Alchemist spot, that's totally fine. Different Alk spot from opponents, so they're probably going Ninja, Alk, uh, ninja Alk strategy as well. The question is, what Ninja Alk strategy are they going in specific? Because I doubt... I guess it could be the same as me. It could be Ninja Alk Farm as well. It could be Ninja Alk Sniper as well. So I'm guessing it's one of those three is likely to be the candidate here. But we'll get our uh, Fedora down. I actually should have waited another Eco Boost to get my Fedora down now that I think about it. Because they actually got more Eco than me. I didn't realize I could have waited longer to do it. That's fine though. That's fine. That's fine. And we'll just continue Max Eco in here, ladies and gentlemen. Should be a pretty fun time. Where do I want to place my ninja then? If I have it, like, ninja probably goes, like, right here then. Because I want it to be in the side of the range of the Alk buff. Right? Yeah, I'll we'll place the ninja right here. This should be a fine spot for it. We'll upgrade larger potions on this. They got their ninja down as well. Nicely done. Maybe their alchemist spot's better. I don't know. I like my spot because it kind of hits the balloons. Or it's supposed to hit the balloons on this bend pretty well. Right now, it's kind of getting messed up from the AI balloons, but... Their Alchemist does hit the balloons early in the rush, which is valuable as well. We're both going an Eco loadup, by the way. We are both both bringing Eco here. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be very, very interesting. Let's upgrade. Yeah, this is enough upgrades on my Ninja, I think, to defend right now. We're good. Let's get Sharp Shurikens, actually. They did the same. Nicely done. Farmer and Bloombot are placed. Honestly, I think there's a decent chance they're both going Heli here, Ninja Alk Heli. There's still a chance they're going Sniper. They're definitely not going Farm. If they, had, if they were bringing Farm, they would have a Farm down by now. There's a chance they're going Ninja Elk Sniper, but I think it's Heli from my opponent. That's my current guesstimation. Stronger Acid. Yes, the Alchemist spot's not doing as hot as I thought it would be. It's not hitting... I wanted to hit, like, right here to, like, splash in this triangle, but it keeps targeting the AI balloons, which is kind of messing it up. Which is a little bit annoying. Double shot. So their Alchemist spot's definitely better with my Alchemist messing up a little bit. If my Alchemist wasn't messing up, then it might be a different story, but yeah. Okay, they don't care about leaking, so they probably have Heli then. If they don't care about leaking. They most likely have the Helicopter. Okay, they got double shot on their side as well. Nicely done. All is good. Purples are being sent. Both ways. That's totally fine. We'll get a second Alchemist down right here. And then we're going to upgrade the second Alchemist to Stronger Acid and Faster Throwing is going to be the plan there. We'll send them some Zebras. Did they just Balloon Boost at me? I can use Adora Level 3 ability then. Because I get the Balloon Boost back. Because I get it back. Not the Balloon Boost back. Alright, we're good. Definitely have a higher eco than them for sure. Because I sent Zebra Bloons, they sent me Purples the entire time. So I'm up on Eco, which is nice. You'll have to see that. Send them some Spaced Rainbows. They got their Alk buff up nicely done. I'm going to wait on mine, I think. Wait on my Alk buff a little bit. So I can afford a Rubber to Gold easier. Yeah, they got their Rubber to Gold up nicely done. I'll get mine up. Wait, I shouldn't be sending white balloons into a rubber to gold. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. So we overall have less defense than my pawn here, but I do want to get my Berserker up anyways here. 
just to play it safe. But we were able to we were able to squeeze out a little bit more greed than them, so I should be up on eco comparatively to Ninjas here, which is nice. We definitely have the same loadout, by the way, hundred percent. Ninja Alk Ninja Alchemist Heli from both of us, hundred thousand percent. So I'm not exactly sure how this game will play out, to be honest. Um, this is the meta right now, though. So I mean, it is what it is. And we should defend. Yep, we defend. Okay, they all outed me. And they surrendered. All right, I'll take it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take it. He tried all outing me. You just boost and get up a shinobi stack on your Blunjitsu and you're good. He didn't want to take it round 40. I'll take it. Next match of today's video is on the map Power Cove. And as I said, um, previously in the Sweat Series Season 2, I can't repeat strategies. So, I can't use Ninja Al Kelly again. Well, I wouldn't even use it on this map to begin with, but, um... Just keep that in mind here. We're going to strategy of attack mortar farm with Fedora here. We're we'll start with our tax tree right here. And then we'll be getting our Fate Weaver Adora on round one as well. And it should be a pretty fun time overall. Opponent, I think, brought Fate Weaver Adora too. So we both brought the hero, which is pretty interesting. Let's place it up here though, pretty soon. Okay, they did place theirs as well. Nicely done, Urtos. I did leak a little bit more than them because they upgraded their tax tree in round one. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. And we'll just keep on eco one here, ladies and gentlemen. Keep on building up my economy and whatnot. And looks like my opponent's going to keep sending me space screen. So I might leak even a little bit more, but I have the eco lead. So I'll take that. I'll take the eco lead for a couple of leaks. That's fine with me. Okay, we're going to keep this on strong when they're layering on me. Put on first. When the balloons come around. Alright. They're going to layer on me again, I assume. Because they're sending me blues. Well, actually, no, they might be able to an eco load out here. Look at this, because they're sending me lots of blues. What would their eco... No, they're going farm. They're going farm. Okay. They're going farm. That's fine. We didn't leak that much at the end of the day, so their layering didn't really do much for them. And the good part is we're not against Jericho as well, so I don't really have to worry about leaks too much, because Jericho camels are not an issue. So that's another thing that needs to be taken into consideration there. We're going to upgrade my farm. And send them some white balloons. And pretty soon here, I'll use the ability. Perfect. We're all good. And I'm going to get a second farm down as soon as possible here. One more economy boost. I should be get my second farm up, which will be pretty good for, for me. Perfect. And I get a banana from that as well. I'll take it. I'll take it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But yeah, that previous game was interesting. Um, I guess Ninjas just thought I wouldn't have money to defend their ceramic rollout. But the nice part was I had boost available. So boosted Lunjutsu goes pretty crazy. So it's a pretty simple defend, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to send this to Yells. Let's Okay, they went for a mortar. That's fine. I had to use tower boost there. That's all good. Okay, they're sending me purples. I'll do the same. Why not? Upgrade my second farm here a little bit. So they are up a boost here. So maybe my opponent's in a slightly better position. I do have more farms on the map than them, but they have more boosts. So we'll see. We'll keep farming. Send them some zebras. Okay, they actually go for a plantation on their side. That's fine. We'll farm on on our end. The plantation's not cross path though, which is pretty important with that. Okay. Okay, now they cross pathed it. Yeah, we're good against that. Okay, we forced tower boost. They were able to target their signal flare though. So nicely done targeting your signal flare to hit those balloons. That was actually well played from my potent. Okay, we forced Maelstrom. We forced another Maelstrom. We forced another Maelstrom. Are they dead as uh, zebras? Or no? I guess not. 
All right. Interesting. Very interesting how it ended up playing out. I'll take it though. I think I'm gonna find position. I much. I definitely have a much higher eco than my opponent. They use another boost. Okay. So I think we're tied on boost now. We both have one boost. I'm pretty sure we both have one boost available. They both have a heavy shells on their side. The one thing is though, my opponent does have a lot more defense on their side than I have on my side. So I'm gonna have to build up defense for sure. For sure, that'll be necessity. I also placed my Fate Weaver door up here, by the way. I forgot to talk about that because they have Fate Weaver door as well. So level seven ability won't speed boost stuff near where my um attack shooters are. I don't want to use my last boost though. Okay, we're good. Easy defense, ladies and gentlemen. A little Maelstrom action there. They also send them a fortified Moab. And I'll sacrifice this. Balloon boost. That's not near enough for them. Does boost even do them justice here? I don't think so. They're dead. They're so dead. Yeah. I was gonna say the speed boosted fortified Moab. You need an artillery battery against that or like a overdrive with it. Using Maelstrom and against a fortified is not gonna cut it, brother. All right, I'll catch you guys in the third match. All right, guys, third match of today's video. We're on the map building site with the strategy Tack Mortar Farm and Fate Weaver Door. Normally go Tack Bolt Farm here, but I was thinking with Fate Weaver adding some defensive support, Mortar might be an option. And we're against uh, a smiley face here, I guess I'll name them. They're starting with their ace, which is interesting. Ace start coming out from my opponent. Not something you see every day, ladies and gentlemen. So gotta respect it for sure. Wait, can my Fate Weaver, it can see the balloons in the pipe, but it can't hit them. I just noticed that. Huh. Well, maybe this isn't a very good spot. I was thinking that I could shoot through the pipe because like it can shoot through obstacles. It was like targeting balloons in the pipe and then it was kind of just like flying off to the side there. It's not what I was asking from you, Fate Weaver. Okay, I was actually targeting hitting balloons in the pipe this time around. Maybe I was wrong. All right, they got their Pineapple Express on there and nicely done. They're vibing. They got my first farm down here. Uh, that might've been a bad decision. Raid the attack shooter. Dude, the Adora is not targeting the balloons I needed to target right now. What is up with the way this guy seeks? It does not seek the correct way, I'm telling you right now. Oh, this is frustrating. It's tower boost. It's not seeking correctly, dude. It's not seeking correctly. I don't know. It's throwing my match. It's throwing my bread. What am I down to now on the life count? I'm down to like 10 lives here. Okay, we're, we're alive. We're alive. Now, I definitely, in hindsight, shouldn't have greeted that much with my farm. Um, in how I upgrade my tax trader, but I, I did also expect my door to do a little bit better than that for me with its seeking. Because that was atrocious, what just happened. Okay, let's get my blade up. We're fine. They got a bomb race up. They are actually doing some solid ace micro on their side, too. I guess I wasn't even looking at their side for a while. I'm pretty sure this is Mavo I'm facing. This person uses ace pretty much every single game, so they know all the ace micro paths and everything like that. They use a door ability there. Nicely done. They get their boat down, so it's 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 ace boat, which is interesting. How am I still leaking, bro? Is my Adora targeting really selling me that much? I've got a blade shooter in my Adora. I feel like I shouldn't be leaking here. Do I need to go for a second attack shooter? I guess I'll place down one because I don't want to die. I'm not a six lives, which is dangerous territory. Very dangerous territory to be in. We're alive though. They're not sending me any yellow balloons. Yellow balloons would be troublesome for me. I'd use a door level three ability, then I'd need to tower boost probably. Okay, start upgrading the second farm. Let's get greater production on this. They got a merchant on their side, nicely done. Send them some purples. They're sending me purples. How do we do against these? Okay, we leaked two lives. I can tank those. Wait, we leaked one life actually. Not two. Big difference, big difference chat. It's Ace Mortar Bolt from them. So Ace Mortar Bolt versus Tack Mortar Farm. What an interesting matchup we've got going on here. I've got to say, I don't know if I've ever seen this loadout before. Ace Mortar Bolt. But they are kind of cooking with it. You know, I've got to give them that. One thing I need to be careful about is camo rushes for sure with my life count. Especially if they use like the Fedora Sack ability and they camo rush me so it's like super fast camos. That could be dangerous for me. Crap. Let's boost this. Oh, I almost died. 
That would have been really bad. Yeah, we're fine. Let's send them a little bit of something. Yeah, they, we forced a shell shock and fate weaver level three. Take that. Man, this has been a weird game. I'm at two lives right now, guys. That's actually kind of crazy. I, my life count's at two. I'm down to one boost as well. Oh, man. I definitely dug myself in a bit of a hole with how I played my early game. But we're alive, and that's all that matters. I think I'm definitely up on eco from my opponent. There's no way they've got a thousand eco right now. And my farm makes similar amount of money per round to their merchant. I think it makes slightly less, but I think I'm in a fine position, all things considered. I'm going to save it for a plantation on my end. Or should I go for a marketplace? Because I feel like it's decently likely I'll sell my farm later. In case they, they'll probably pressure me with some, like fortified moabs or something with the Adora sacrifice. So I think that's a decent likelihood that they'll be pressuring me and I'll need to sell the farm. So we'll go for a marketplace for that reason. They sacrificed. Okay, they sacrificed and got up a thing on their side. I sent them one of these and sacrifice. Come on, defend. Oh! Oh, I almost died. They died! Oh my gosh, two life clutch. What was that game, bro? What was that game? That was that was way too close, I'm not gonna lie. We got the win though. I'll catch you guys in the fourth match. That was crazy. Okay, I actually didn't realize this till I was editing the video right just now, but I played Tack Mortar Farm twice this video, so I guess I can't fix that now, but I technically did break the rules of using the same strategy twice in the same video of the sweat series, so that's a little bit unfortunate. All right, our fourth match here, guys. We are on the map of Precious Space. Now, I can't use Tack Mortar Farm or Ninja Heli Alchemist this game, so I ended up using Druid Sub Farm, which is pretty good load on this map as well with um, Fate Weaver Adora. I think the bro poem brought Fate Weaver Adora as well here, so... Hmm, don't really know where's the best Fate Weaver spot I can place mine to kind of defend stuff still well on my side, but counter their level 7 speed up ability. I've got to think about my Fate Weaver Adora spot very meticulously here. They're starting with a trip dart on their side, by the way. So it's a dart loadout. Maybe like right here. This spot should be decent because it doesn't hit the track. Like its range, it, it's not covering the track for a lot of its range, but it still hits the track in two important spots at the start of the track and the end of the track. So I feel like this is a pretty decent Fate Weaver spot where it'll still be strong defensively, but it'll counter their level seven to a degree. Yeah, we're at 144 lives, so I need to get down to 64 for the maximum Druid buff. One more economy boost, and I should be able to get my first farm down. There we go. They got their first farm down as well. Nicely done. What do we think their third is? Maybe Mortar? Dark Mortar Farm could be their loadout here. I have seen that load on this map before. It's not a bad loadout. Yeah, they're, that's just power. That's just tower boost this. The balloon boost for a tower boost. I'm, I'm fine with that, to be honest. That way I can actually upgrade my farm, too. So I'll be able to defend round four fine with the tower boost. Go for a second farm here, and then pretty soon I'll get my Heart of Thunder up, and just use the level 7 ability. Alright, we're good. Good greed action on my end, ladies and gentlemen. Good greed, good greed. They call me Greedy Mahalik. Alright, they got their crossbow trip dart set up, so they're chilling on their end. That is a pretty good setup for early game that they've got going on. And especially with Fate Weaver door as well to clean up. They'll be good against everything to start off. To start this match off, they'll be fine. Let's get our Bloom Bot down here too. And we'll upgrade the second farm to um, greater production. Perfect. So I send them yellows. I feel like I could force defense. That sends me yellows because the first yellow set of yellows will force their level 3 ability from their Fedora. Oh, it's Wizard. Okay. Well, I forced a Fireball. I'll just take that. Because they still have level 3 Adora ability left, so... We force defense out of them with the yellows. I'll take it. We'll go for another farm on our end. So it's wizard. It's not mortar. Dart wizard farm. I guess that makes sense as well. Wizard was buffed recently, so it's not a bad pick necessarily. 
Get Druid of Wrath up. Yeah, we're chilling. Oh, we missed a purple balloon. Okay, we're fine now. We missed a purple balloon there for a second. All right, round 10 is gonna hit soon, which I can actually remove another obstacle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cross path this with Valuable Bananas, and then I'll remove the obstacle and upgrade to a plantation. Yeah, that's the play, that's the play. Wait, I don't have Fate Weaver level three ability back yet. I was planning on have Fate Weaver level three ability back for round 11. Wait, I have it back now. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Let's get that up. We're fine. Easy defense. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Good greed on our side. Very good greed. Oh, they placed their Necromancer in a terrible spot, bro. You want to have your Necromancer be able to spawn balloons from the back end. So have like a little bit of its range clip the backtrack, but they don't have that. So what I can actually do to them is just destroy all their Necromancer balloons with some eco and then send them a small rush and get through. Their Necromancer spot's awful. They use door level three ability. Okay. We'll send them more. Okay, we force the juggernaut. Honestly, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, that's a bad necromancer spot though from them. Very bad spot. I'm gonna kind of hover enough money for my reactor in case they rush me. I feel like a rush is inevitable from them. Maybe they might rush me with the level three, level seven ability as well. Mixed in. If they don't rush me, okay. That was a very small rush. I meant a bigger rush than that. When I was saying rush, I meant something a little bit bigger than that, brother. I'm just hovering enough money for my reactor, pretty much. I also have level 3 ability available, too, which is nice. Yeah, they've stopped their eco. It's a little bit concerning. I probably ex I probably should expect a fortified mole brush this round. They might use their door level 3 ability, 7 ability as well to speed them up. Let's boost this. Yeah, we're fine. Are they gonna re-rush me? No. All right. I'd like to get up a, what's it called? Central market at the end of this round. But it might be too greedy. I can sell some defense to afford it. Now we got it. I'll take that. We got it, we got it. They're probably sending me a fortified BFB for sure. Yeah. Armor piercing darts on strong. That should be able to hit it. Get a couple thorn swarms up here, a thorn swarm right here. They're gonna speed boost this one as well, aren't they? Yeah, they do. Let's just boost this. No way, one Moab got through, what is that? All right, this is the last match of the video. It should be a good one, guys. This guy's a top three badge. They're one of the best players in the game here. And we are on the map of off tide for the last one with the strategy Ninja Alchemist farm and a door. So that's good. I think there's a decent chance my opponent's going the same exact loadout as me as well. So that'll be pretty exciting. We're we'll start with our Alchemist right here. They want Tax Shooter actually, Never mind. They aren't going the same loadout as me. I thought they would be. Tax Shooter, so it's probably Tack Mortar Farm. Honestly, I think I have an advantage here. I think Ninja Elk Farm is better than Tack Farm on this map now with um the changes. Tack Farm is still really good on this map, don't get me wrong, but I think Ninja Elk Farm has the edge. So, I like my chances here. I like my chances. They got their Fate Weaver down as well, nicely done. And we will just keep on uh, maximizing my economy here off the rip. Will be the plan. Actually, send them some Spaced Green Balloons. I think Spaced Green Balloons might do some damage, even though they have Fate Weaver. Because their attack is not cross-pathed. Okay, they actually cross-pathed it once. Now they might be good with that. Let's go for my farm here. For the roundins. Yeah, make a banana from that. Yeah, they're balloon boosting at me. That's fine. We're going to take some leaks here. Get my ninja down. I'm close. So it shoots downwards. and maximizes its pierce for now. All right, this should be enough defense. Ninja on close is pretty good here because it's like, I don't need Seeking Shuriken right now. Because it's maximizing its pierce in a pretty good manner against the grain. And then the fedora cleans up decently well. It seems to be working out fine and dandy for us. And then we'll just upgrade our farm now. 
All right, so we leaked quite a bit there, but they did use a balloon boost. So not the end of the world that we leaked against that. I'd like to upgrade this farm again. Uh, let's not do that actually, because we have uh, white balloon problems. Now I put this Nugget Seeking Shuriken on this. Yeah, they got their blade up nicely done. Let's use this ability. And then we'll get double shot. How well does this do? Or do I need stronger acid on my alchemist here? The question of the day. Do I need stronger acid or do I not? Keeps on close, maybe? I think I need stronger acid. Especially for black balloons. Black balloons are going to be more difficult than white balloons to defend. Stronger acid is necessary. For sure. I don't think I need larger potions, though. I don't think larger potions is necessary. So we're going to save that $250 there. For more farms. Also, let's get my farm and get my balloon butt down. I'm not against Jericho or anything, so I don't need to worry about the steals. That. Nice. They are slightly out farming, but that's totally fine. It's because a blade shooter is cheaper than a double shot ninja and an alchemist, but I have the late game advantage. So even if they out farm me, which they will out farm me this game, I still think I will be in a winning position if I play it, if I just defend their rushes efficiently and well. That's going to be what it comes down to, guys, how well I can defend their rushes. That's what it will come down to at the end of the day. Do I need to use my Adora ability against these? These purple balloons are quite menacing. Not going to lie. Send them some zebras. Okay, I forced the mortar out on them. They got balloon busty up. Nicely done. If they rush me round 11, I go for an alt buff ninja. Boost this. Okay, that's fine. It's a pretty big rush overall. I feel like he's gonna re-rush me. Let's go for a stronger stimulant on this. This should be fine against it. Let's use a door ability. Yeah, we defend, we defend. Okay. I was gonna say, we definitely defend an all-out there, right? Right? We've got enough defense for an all-out rush. Okay, they're dead against this counter. GG. GG, ladies and gentlemen. I'll take that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Sweat Series video. Took down two of the best players in the world, Ninjaius, and then I think this is um 51 Aliens here, so... Some good matches there. We threw one of the matches, but that's totally fine. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Ramek out. Peace, lads.